Hello everyone. My name is Devanshi Sharma Narang and I am a consultant clinical psychologist working with Continua Kids Gurgaon and Rainbow Children's Hospital Delhi. So today I would like to talk about a very simple psychological exercise that you all can practice at home and it will help you in curbing any kind of uh, thoughts that are depressive in nature that cause you anxiety or they are obsessional in nature and uh, they kind of cause you a lot of psychological distress and if you feel that it has not been under your control uh, then this technique might help you in psychologically molding those thoughts and uh, ultimately relieving you of them so uh, it is also commonly called the 4d exercise it is uh, practiced by a lot of mental health professionals and psychologists as a means of seizing any kind of addictive behaviors and this can also be used as a very good technique in curbing any depressive thoughts so as the name suggests the four d's i would first explain you what these d's are and uh, then we will uh, discuss it in detail how you can practice it on a daily basis so the first d is deep breathing the second d is drink water the third d is delaying the thought and the fourth d is distracting yourself so i would just uh, explain you a little in detail so any time you experience any kind of negative thoughts what you need to do is you need to do a little bit of deep breathing first now this is very different from what you do in yoga or pranayam uh, this deep breathing will only comprise of you inhaling the air holding it in your stomach for some time and then releasing it from your mouth so how this will help uh, when you are undergoing any kind of uh, negative thought when you suddenly indulge yourself into a physical activity your mind gets a signal that you need to practice that particular physical activity and suddenly it deflects you from that kind of negative thought then another thing that you can do is you drink a glass of water that otherwise will also keep you uh, you know hydrate that will also help you in keeping yourself hydrated and uh, how you can uh, this will also work as a distraction why because again you are indulging yourself in a in another physical activity that will suddenly uh, distract or you know deflect your mind from that kind of uh, particular thought the third d is very important uh, now that is again a psychological um, you know practice that you do so the third d is delaying that particular thought so let's say you get any kind of thought that is distressful let's say you get an obsessional thought about cleaning your hands again and again or uh, cleaning something again and again so how you can curb it is uh, definitely you should clean your hands uh, owing to this uh, covid-19 pandemic but if it is an excessive in nature that's when you need to be more careful so delaying the thought means simply that you tell yourself it's like a self therapy that you do so you deliberately tell yourself that okay i will perform this particular activity but after some time so how will this help you is every time you get these kind of thoughts which are obsessional and every time you kind of delay these thoughts this kind of breaks the vicious cycle of those obsessions or those kind of repetitions that go on in your mind the fourth d is very important that is distracting yourself now how would you distract yourself firstly the distraction has to be a neutral activity it should not be related to the thought that you are getting so if you if you kind of get a thought of cleaning something again and again if you get a thought of doing something uh, which which gives you uh, utmost distress or you know which kind of uh, uh, increases your psychological pain so you don't have to act on it if you kind of act on it you are again strengthening the process of those thoughts so distracting yourself in a neutral activity would be that you can listen to your favorite music you can watch a movie 
you can do any activity that is not at all related to that particular thought and that's how you will break the cycle of um, any kind of uh, negative or any kind of obsessional or anxiety ridden thoughts so i hope um, you're able to practice this if you have any questions you can definitely leave those in the comment section and uh, i'll i'll try and get back to you and uh, hope to see you soon thank you so much for today